Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Total Entertainment Podcast with me, Paul Collis. And today we're going to take a look at the supporting artist, New Dad, for Paolo Nutini's 2022 tour. So, New Dad are an indie rock band from Galloway Island. The music has been compared to The Cure and and just mustered by Enemy Magazine. Artwood Magazine wrote of the group, the band oozes personality with cynical but honest lyrics, colourful visual components and poignant uh, messages about, about coping with the painful formulative experiences. The group have appeared at the Green Man Festival in Wales, the Pitchfork Music Festival in Paris, and on the Irish television programme Other Voices. Julie Dawson, Andel O'Byrne and Fascia Parzo stated that the band started the band while in secondary school as a way of avoiding solo performances for their leaving certificate practical music exam. O'Dowd, who was studying music technology in Limerick, began recording the band before eventually becoming a full member. An early feature in local paper, the Connacht Tribune, wrote, Belaying their relative inexperience, Galway band New Dad are fast becoming one of the city's most inventive and enthralling acts. The band released five singles in 2020, How, Swimming, Cry, Blue and I Don't Recognise You, which accrued over 2 million streams on Spotify. On November the 5th in 2020, the group recorded a live session for Steve Lamarck show on BBC Six Music. So, the, ba- the band are Jilly Dawson on vocalist and rhythm guitar, Andal O'Byrne on bass guitar, Sean O'Dowd on lead guitar, and Fasia Pardo on drums. And here is their discography. So, you've got two EPs Waves EP in 2021 and Banshee EP on 2022 and their singles are How in 2020, Swimming in 2020, Cry in 2020, Blue in 2020, I Don't Recognise You in 2020, Ladybird in 2021, Say It in 2022 and Illy 2 on 2022. So there's not much about them but I'm sure what we haven't gone over they're going to make up for on the performance itself. We'll be back after this. A tribute to men that hate their jobs is a brutal but witty portrayal of working a job you hate. In this podcast, there are themes explored in which happy workers simply wouldn't understand unless they listen to these cautionary tales from a man that lost his ideal job because of the global pandemic. Be warned that this podcast contains strong, offensive language that some listeners may not want to hear. In addition, this podcast is definitely not recommended for younger audiences. The links for this is in the description below. And we're back and it's now the next day and I'm now on foot. So the reason for that is the loadout was a bit of a late one and yes, life. <laughs> Anyways, so new dad. The house lights went down and the house music faded down as the band walked on and occupied the downstage centre section of the stage. Lighting wise they had a backlit stage which was uh, backlit in which was backlit in Congo blue and with a handful of white lights uh, as specials and what I mean by a special is a pool of light. So it basically means that's one person's own special light and that's what they did. They lit everyone up or every member of the band up in a special and that's it and that is how it stayed for the entirety of the set so they were quite literally rooted to the same points but they had the beams over, uh, as wide as possible so they had a bit of leeway and playroom so they can move around a little bit but not too much because it was a very limited amount of light now sound wise so there wasn't much clarity within the sound mix and it was unusually loud i mean decibel wise not really uh, but there was a lot of um there was a lot of volume in there Uh, so when i say the difference between it there is a big difference between volume and decibels it's just a different metric of that monitoring how much noise is coming out but we can go into that another time. 
the second song unfortunately was plagued absolutely plagued by feedback and it took a while for it to get under control but it was a real piercing loud sharp bit of feedback each time now how was this caused I'll tell you exactly how this was caused the guitar amps were not put through the sound system on a DI direct interface no they had a microphone in front of each uh, amp and then directly in front of the each amp was the stage monitors so they could hear what they needed to hear in their version of the mix and because those were running really loud the microphones on the amplifiers of the guitars were picking up the uh, signal from the monitor from the monitors and that's what caused the feedback so eventually the uh, sound engineer wrestled down the volume and got the feedback under control and in the front of house mix was, was a little bit lowered as well so they find it finally got caught by the uh, third song I'd say third or fourth song that they had the sound was much better controlled and then you could appreciate that the lack of clarity that they had was their unique sound it was the, the way how they're at, how the band works is it's a little bit it's a little it's their unique sound there's another way to describe it it's not about through a general lack of clarity it's the way how they merge their sound together to give them to give the band its unique sound and i say that in the same respect of for example surfer rock it has its own unique sound and it's very distinctive and in the same school of things that's how new dad were they had their own unique sound and i actually liked that sound uh, once it was wrestled down into a bit more control and it came across really well actually performance wise i do believe new dad have so much more potential they are definitely definitely on the up and coming because their songs were great they were quite memorable and they had great stage presence and great charisma for example the guitar uh, the uh, male guitarist uh, stage right the lead guitarist i would say maybe not sure i'm not sure because they swap but the lead singer would swap between being uh, lead and rhythm with the uh, other guitarist but anyways he was rocking out properly hardcore rocking it out in his own world which was great it's refreshing to see someone do that and the bass player she was great she had a presence as well they all interacted well together and Judy Dawson who is the lead singer she has such a distinct voice which was really good to hear and re refreshing because it's something different and when I say something different I mean it's really good and that's what you want in a new up-and-coming band a unique sound which makes them stand out from all the rest there's no, definitely no mediocrity within this band they are unique on their own and they will become pro quite prominent in the future I do believe if you've enjoyed today's podcast please hit like subscribe and share and if you haven't already done so why don't you check out more content from Master X Media by clicking the link in the description below and we shall catch you next time Bye for now.